Hello, this is Teacher Richman and today's video we are going to learn how to multiply divide integers. But before we do that, let me invite you again to like and subscribe in our YouTube channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will not miss our future uploads. In this YouTube channel, we are making video tutorials. Now, today we are going to learn how to multiply and divide integers. Now, these are the two operations that are easiest in operations of integers. Now, before to proceed, before we proceed to the rules of multiplying and dividing integers, let me remind you again that it is extremely needed that you memorize the multiplication table. Okay? So, we are going to start now. We will look at the rules in multiplying and dividing integers. And by the way, multiplication sometimes denoted as as multiplication sign or some it looks like x or sometimes it is denoted as center dot or sometimes it is denoted as parenthesis. And the same with division uh, sometimes it is denoted with a division sign or sometimes it looks like a fraction where there is a numerator and there is denominator or sometimes it is uh, it looks or denoted as slash so these are the rules we only have two rules in multiplying and dividing integers for like signs for like signs the answer will always be positive for example, if you multiply positive plus positive, the answer will always be positive. And some, when you multiply also negative times negative, the answer will always be positive. When you divide positive divided by positive, the answer is positive. When you divide negative divided by negative, the answer is positive. And the second rule for unlike sign, the answer will always be equal to negative. Or the answer, the sign of your answer will always be negative. So for example, positive times negative it is equal to negative answer. And negative times positive it is equal to negative answer. And if positive divided by negative, it is equal to negative answer. Or negative divided by positive, the answer is always negative. So you are going to remember these rules because this will apply in every problem that you encounter involving multiplication and division. So let's jump to the examples now. Example, positive 2 times positive 3 the answer would be positive 6 since both of these integers are having the same sign. And based on rules, when two integers are multiplied having the same sign or like signs, their answer will always be positive. Second example, negative 7 times negative 3, the answer is always positive and the answer is positive 21. Why? Because when you multiply integers having the same sign, the answer will always be positive. Next example, 7 times negative 3. What's, what is our answer here? Our answer is negative 21. Why? Because these two integers here in the given problem are unlike signs. The first integer is positive 7 and the second integer is negative 3. Next, we have negative 4. In this case, we have 3 integers. We're going to multiply 3 integers. So to do this, you will multiply first the first 2 integers. So negative plus or negative times negative, it will be positive supposedly. But when you multiply it again with negative integers, so the answer will be negative. So negative 4 times negative 3, that is equal to positive 12 
and positive 12, multiply it by negative 8, the answer would be negative 96. So that is how you do the multiplication of integers. So let's proceed to the next example, uh, division of integers or dividing integers. So we are going to find the quotient. Quotient means the answer of division. So positive 12 divide positive 3, it is equal to positive 6. Negative 21 divided by negative 3, it is equal to positive 7. Because when you divide integers having the same sign, the answer will always be positive. The next example here, positive 36 divided by negative 3, the answer would be negative 12. Why? Because when you divide integers having unlike sign, the answer will always be negative. So therefore, our answer for negative positive 36 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Next example, negative 12 divided by positive 2, the answer is negative 6. Why? Because when we divide unlike signs, the answer will always be negative. So it's your turn now to perform the indicated operations. First one, positive 16 divided by positive 4. And positive 28 divided by negative 3. And Positive 9 times negative 3 and negative 2 times negative 7 times negative 8. 